Through PPPs, according to Mukomangeni, the government can harness private sector finances as well as expertise to meet the development needs of the Namibian economy. One of the key advantages is that through the right incentives, uh, private sector can be motivated to innovate and run a project efficiently such that high quality public services are delivered at an affordable price. Core principles like affordability and competitive procurement ensure that PPPs are successful and are in the public interest. Partnerships between the government, its agencies and privately owned businesses have over the years been concluded in various sectors, she added. She further noted that PPPs have contributed to the economy, however it has fallen short of its full potential. The PPP legislation will ensure that best practices are followed during all phases of a PPP project development cycle. A notable reason why PPPs have not borne more fruit is limited skills and capacity at relevant stakeholder organizations. The PPP unit assists in capacity development through structural um, training programs, knowledge sharing and presentations in applicable forums. It also frequently provides feedback in cases where PPPs may not be a suitable model for project development. This year's PPP conference will be focusing on broadening the dialogue between investors, financiers, project owners, as well as developers. The conference will take place on the 8th of November in Vintuk in partnership with Standard Bank, Namibia, PwC and the Ministry of Finance.